Welcome to Real Chemistry. Today we're going to be talking about naming binary acids. A binary acid is anything that releases hydrogen ions into solution when you dissolve it and contains only two elements. So typically you'll see an H followed by another element. And when you see that, you know that's a binary acid. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the rules of how you name these guys. First, we're gonna go from the formula, like HCl, to the name, in this case, hydrochloric acid. And then we're gonna go back the other direction. So first, let's just go through how we can go from HCl to that name. And the way we name these binary acids is we always start with hydro. You can think of that taking the place of the H. So instead of writing hydrogen, we write hydro. And then what we write is we write the base name of the second element. Or in other words, the base name of the thing that's not hydrogen. So in this case, we have chlorine as the thing that's not hydrogen. And the base name of chlorine is chlor. And so we're just going to write chlor. And now we go ahead and we add ick. We always add ick to the base name of our second element. So it becomes hydrochloric. And then to complete it and make it clear that it's an acid, we always write the word acid afterwards. So that's it. Those are the rules for naming a binary acid. We will start with hydro, then the base name of the thing that's not hydrogen. We add ick to it, and then we write acid. Let's do one more. So here we have HF. Again, we're going to start with hydro. And then we look at F, and we know that's fluorine. And the base name of fluorine is fluor, so it becomes hydrofluor. And then we always add ick, so hydrofluoric. And then the last thing we do is we tack on that acid. So it turns out binary acids are one of the easier compounds to name. Let's go the other direction, though. Let's start with the name and go to the formula. Here we have hydrobromic acid. And so all we're going to do is where we see hydro, we're going to write an H. So the first thing we're going to write for this guy is H, because we know that our acids have to start with the uh, element hydrogen. And then we identify what element is in there by looking at the base name. So here you see brome. That's the base name of bromine, which has the symbol BR. So we write BR, and that is, in fact, our formula. We have HBr, which is called hydrobromic acid. All right, one more example of going from names to formulas. Here we have hydroiodic acid. And so again, we're going to replace the hydro with an H, and we're going to investigate what base name we have here. And we see iode, which turns out to be the base name for iodine. And so that means we have HI. So that is the acid we have there. It turns out there's just not very many of these binary acids. The ones we've gone through, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydrofluoric, and hydroiodic acids are the four main ones you'll see. So that's how you go from the name to the formula, or for the formula to the name. For binary acids. In the next video, we'll talk about oxy acids. So if you want to know how to name acids that contain oxygen, check out my video on naming oxy acids. Thanks for watching this episode of Real Chemistry. Please leave any questions you have below.